Good morning, everybody. We are in the garage today. We have a dirty job ahead of us. As you can tell, I'm wearing gloves. We're doing an unboxing that I've been putting off for a while. So let me get the box put on the tool bench and we'll take it from there. All right, so we have an Atari. I don't know if you guys can see that, penciled in over here. I actually don't know the exact contents of this box. There is an Atari in here with a bunch of other stuff. I took a quick peek inside, but I've actually been a little bit nervous about tinkering with the system because it is a pretty special unit. Its previous owner is a now famous Silicon Valley CEO, and we'll get to that later in the video. I have some documentation that shows who that person was. Anyway, let's open this thing up and take a look. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side and just kind of take things out and put them on the bench. I think you guys will get a better view. Here it is. I'm just kidding. This is just the disk drive. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, there's a disc in here. Pac-Man. Look at the cobwebs. Manufactured by Atari Sunnyvale, California. That's an hour away from where I live. Here she is, guys. Very dusty. I wonder in how many years this cover has not been taken off. Let's do it. Wow. It's dusty. It is in good condition. There is a serial number carved in here. I'd be curious to find out what that is. I've never seen one of these. I mean, not in person. Pull open. Pull open. Okay. There's a cartridge in here. Wow, look at the condition of that. It looks mint. Hooking this up to the TV is gonna be a bit of a challenge. Gonna have to figure out how I can hook this thing up to a modern TV. Okay, let's see what else is in this box. This looks exactly like a Tatari 2600 joystick. I'm assuming they're the same. Parallel printer interface. A guide to effective programming. So a handwritten note there. It's like looking into a time capsule. Routine to watch for end of file. Trap 10,000 get loop. I have no idea what this is. Bit assignment for selected hardware registers. So we have a box game, a couple more books. A bunch of discs in here. Summer catalog of games. Is this related to the Atari? Yep, well, it's another game. This is the Nightmare Disc. Look at that graphic art. Dreaming or is it real? Pac-Man. Sent Pro 6, 9 Atari games. I guess this is a copy of Nightmare. Chicken, Freeway, Tesk Disk Speed, Basket. Basket, Pac-Man, Centipede, Froggy, and Chicken. And Baja Buggies. So it looks like two original games and a bunch of copies. So here it is guys, an Atari 800 home computer. This is a pretty special item to add to my collection. 
I need to do my homework. I don't know how to hook it up to a modern TV or how I would even go about using it, testing it out and making sure it works. It's a pretty special find for me because I have a copy of the receipt and the previous owner kept the original receipt for himself. When I go back inside, I'll record a quick video of that receipt and it's been in storage in their attic for a couple of decades. They're clearing out their attic and they place an ad to give this away. All right guys, it made sense to edit in the reveal at this point in the video. So here you're looking at a copy of the original receipt. It says basic computers on the top and I've covered up their last name, but Mike is the gentleman that gave me this Atari. And the three items on the receipt are the Atari 800, the disk drive, and a RAM upgrade for $1,325. And on the bottom half of the receipt, there's a signature dated May 27th, 1982, and there's an address on the bottom. Now, if you're one of those Atari veterans that were active in the Atari community in the Bay Area in the 80s, you might have already figured out whose signature this is. But for the rest of us, do you recognize who this guy is? This is none other than Mark Benioff, the founder, chairman, and CEO of Salesforce. Today, this guy's net worth is over $7 billion. And in 1982, when he sold this computer, guess how old he was? 18. 18, guys. This guy was already an entrepreneur by the time he was in high school. And that address on the bottom? During my research, I was expecting to find a vintage photo of a computer shop called Basic Computers. But what I found instead is this house which turns out is the house he grew up in and where he started basic computers out of. It's pretty amazing what you can find by just entering an address into Google. And one of those search results was a digitized version of the Atari Computer Enthusiast newsletter from June of 1982. And in that newsletter, there's a section called Ask Mr. Atari where people send in their questions. And guess who Mr. Atari is, the person that answers those questions? Yep, 18 year old Mark Benioff. And does that address look familiar? It's the same address on the bottom of the receipt. It gets even better, guys. In that same issue, there's an arcade called Brian's Arcade talking about how their business is doing the past month. And on the fourth line, it says, I did get an early copy of Mark Benioff's new game, The Nightmare. Yes, this very same game. Of course, I only realized all of this later, but what we're looking at here is actually that same early release of Mark Benioff's game. It's his game. The receipt's dated May of 1982, and that newsletter's dated June of 1982. I'm just beside myself, guys. Some people really are destined for greatness. Makes you think about what you're doing with your life, right? All right, guys, I'm gonna blow your mind. You ready? How much did I pay for this computer? I got it for free off Craigslist. I promised the previous owner that I would take care of this treasure, and once I cleaned it all up, I would reach back out to him and let him know that I got it working. All right, back to that last little bit of the unboxing. You know, th this stuff's happening in my backyard. I mean, to think that this belonged to the now CEO of Salesforce, it would be amazing to properly th restore this to its former glory and perhaps even reach out to Mark, let him know this is his Atari. This was his Atari 30 years ago. Like how cool would that be? That wraps it up for this unboxing. You guys will definitely be seeing this computer again, but I'm taking my time with this restoration. I need to do quite a bit of research and connect with folks that have experience restoring these computers, whether that means a collaboration with someone else or I do the work myself, I'm not sure yet. But the important thing is that I do it right. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. It's been my favorite video so far to research and put together and it's not even a repair video, so that says a lot. All right, take care guys and I'll see you soon.